when the students uh, start taking the written tests, this is the um, intro they see. Um, so first, um, they can see the structure of the test. They see how many tasks uh, they have to complete and in which order. Then they have to check the sound as there are some listening tasks there. They need to make sure that they can hear the listening files. Um, so they listen to the audio file. Uh, they can adjust the volume and uh, when everything is working properly, they can start uh, taking the test. Uh, one of the things you can notice is that the buttons in uh, A's are unfortunately in uh, Estonian, as it says, Salvasta ja mina järgmisel üles um, uh, So this year, we have the first foreign language tests taking place. Um, we have a test in English and a test in German, um, but unfortunately, uh, A's has not been translated into, into English or German, so um, the buttons still are in Estonian. Hopefully it will change soon. Um, so the reading um, paper um, or uh, test consists of five tasks um, and um, it is all automatically assessed, which means that teachers or assessors do not have to mark uh, students' answers here. Computer can do it very successfully. Um, here are some examples of the task types used. Um, so um, we have multiple choice tasks uh, where students have to um, pick the correct answer using drop-down menus or using radio or option buttons. Um, again, um, in drop-down menus, unfortunately, we have everything um, uh, the students can see at first um, in Estonian. So it says Vali uh, instead of um, select. And, uh, but you probably can see that the task types um, that can be seen here are um, familiar from different textbooks as well. Also, there are matching tasks uh, where the students will have to drag the correct words or phrases to the correct place. Um, again, the Bank is in Estonian, but there's nothing we can do about it right now. And the gap fill task where the students have to, for example, here it's a, they listen to an audio um, file and then fill in the gaps. Um, and here we use text, text boxes then. Uh, the second part is the writing test where there's only one task. It's a short email, and this one is assessed using a marking scale. This is what a sample writing task looks like, and this is what the student can see. Um, they have to answer two questions in 60 words, so um, they have uh, parts of their friend's email to them. First of all, they need to read it, find the two questions, and then write an email to the friend answering the questions in 60 words. Um, they do not have to write the salutation or the sign-off because these have already been provided. And there's an automatic uh, word count there, so they can always see how many words they've written. Um, and also the assessors can um, see uh, how many words the student um, has written. Um, it looks quite authentic and, um, and the students uh, who have taken the test during the pilot have said that it's um, convenient and, and easier than uh, writing tasks um, 
or writing emails on paper, which obviously is not very authentic either. Uh, the listening test consists of four tasks, um, multiple choice again, matching and gap fill tasks. Again, automated assessment is used. And here the students will have to listen to short exchanges, very short dialogues and a presentation, and then complete the tasks um, based on the uh, audio files. 